Okay, we're going to show that 1 minus 2i is a 0 of this 4th degree polynomial. Um, so we want to find, to show that it is a root, and then we want to find all the other zeros as well. Um, one way to do it is to do take 1 minus 2i and plug it into f. So that means we'd have to do 1 minus 2i to the 4th power. To the 4th power plus 17 times 1 minus 2i squared plus 14 times 1 minus 2i plus 65, which is ugly, and it'll take a long time. So that would show us that 1 minus 2i is a root. However, our goal is to also find all the other roots. Um, so we would have to, we would know that the complex conjugate is also a root, so 1 plus 2i would also be a root. But again, our goal is to find all the other roots in a better way, as opposed to um, plugging in 1 minus 2i and raising it to the fourth power and whatnot is to do synthetic division with 1 minus 2i, because when we take that with the 4th degree polynomial, it'll reduce it down to a cubic. Then we do the, con the conjugate, 1 plus 2i, and that will reduce it from a 3rd uh, degree down to a quadratic or a 2nd degree polynomial. And then we can just do quadratic formula or factoring. So let's do synthetic division. Just note that there's no cubic term here. So we got to make sure we put a 0 in its place. So 1 minus 2i, and we do 4, 0, 17, 14, and 65. And so with synthetic division, we bring the 4 down. We multiply 4 times this, which is 4 minus 8i. I add it to 0, I get 4 minus 8i. And then I have to multiply 1 minus 2i times 4 minus 8i. And I honestly don't really feel like doing that. Uh, so I'm going to use the graphing calculator instead. So we're dividing by 1 minus 2i, so I'm going to do 1 minus 2, where the uh, de second decimal point is the i. I'm going to store that as a variable. So now my divisor, 1 minus 2i, is now stored as x. So uh, we did 4 times that, so let's look at that. So that would just be times 4 is 4 minus 8i, and then we add that to 0. So we add that result to 0. I get 4 minus 8i. Now I need to multiply 4 minus 8i times 1 minus 2i. Well, I can just times do times x because I know x is 1 minus 2i, and it's multiplying by 4 minus 8i. The parentheses are implied here. You don't really need to put the parentheses in. So I get negative 12 minus 16i. I have to add 17 to that. Excuse me. So plus 17. 5 minus 16i. I need to multiply it by 1 minus 2i, so times x, 1 minus 2i, which is negative 27 minus 26. I add 14 to that. I get negative 13 minus 26. Oops. And then I multiply that result by 1 minus 2i, and I should get negative 65 because we want to show that this is a 0. So you multiply that result times x, and I get negative 65 which is zero. So I'm going to get rid of this here. I don't really need that. So since one minus two i is a root because we've got a remainder of zero, I know its complex conjugate is also a root, which is one plus two i. So now I'm going to do synthetic division with that. Note that this is a fourth degree polynomial. I now have a cubic, but it doesn't have real coefficients. So we want to do synthetic division again, and hopefully these complex coefficients will go away. And then it'll go come down to a quadratic, and then we can do whatever's appropriate. So we got one plus two i is our root now. So let's change our x value to 1 plus 2i, or the complex conjugate, and we'll store that as x. So 1 plus 2i is now stored in there. So synthetic division, I bring down the 4, I multiply it by 1 plus 2i, which is pretty easy, times 4, oops, times 4, which is 4 plus 8i, that was tough. I add those two, I get 8. All right, add, what am I adding? 4 minus 8i. 4 minus 8i. I get 8. I multiply 8 times 1 plus 2i. So that's times x. 18 plus 6i. 16i, excuse me. Add those two, I get 13. All right, add 5 minus 16i. So 5 minus 16i is 13. Crap. Oops. 
Sorry, I just said crap there. I uh, do 13 times 1 plus 2i. I thought I messed up. So 13 times x is 13 plus 26i. And voila. We got 0. So now I have 4x squared plus 8x plus 13 is equal to 0. So we know 1 minus 2i is a root. 1 plus 2i is a root. Now we need to find the, uh, the final root. So we need to show... Um, that this is the what are the roots of this quadratic here? Uh, I'm going to go with this is not factorable, so I'm going to do the quadratic formula. So that's negative eight plus or minus the square root. You can you know what this is. So let's do 64 uh, minus uh, four times four times 13. Let's see what we get. So 64 minus four times four times 13, which is negative 144. So we get negative eight plus or minus the square root negative 144 all over 8 so i get negative 8 plus or minus 12 i over 8 4 goes into all three of those so i get negative negative 2 plus or minus 3 i all over 2 which is the same as negative 1 plus or minus 3 halves i either one of these answers is acceptable so we have four complex roots. We have one plus or minus two i and negative one plus or minus three i, excuse me, three halves i. And these are all complex. Thanks a lot.